not the country that you wanna go. Got the uh, Winnebago fired up. All uh, 15 gallons of gas. Um, check the oil. Oil's great. Coolant's great. Uh, charging system's good. Uh, going up Ormsby Road here. This is the true test of oh, oh boy, of any Winnebago. So you can hear. I'm gonna open up. There it is. You can see. You can hear the performance carburetor is kicking in. It does that deep growl when you open up the secondary butterfly with the throttle all the way down and all four barrels are firing. As you can see, this thing is hauling ass. For a 79, this is hauling ass. Of course, you don't want to go too fast on these roads. If a piece of wildlife comes out, uh, you've got about uh, 15,000 pounds to stop. The brakes are real good, but man, oh man, I feel bad for that deer. All right, let's open her up a little here. Oh yeah. Ooh, you are loving that performance carburetor. Look at this hill we got coming up here. That's the, the true test. It's the Ormsby test. You make it up this hill, you're ready to go. 88 miles an hour. No, nah, it's not 88. It's 55. But. We're cooking all that new gas into that carb. It's loving it. It is loving it. Loving it. The temperature is uh, still in the middle between cold and hot, so the uh, thermostat is obviously working. That Chrysler 440 is uh, just cranking. And here we are at top of Ormsby. There's the young household, cousin Mark's house. It's a beautiful day for Winnebago. Beautiful day. And uh, you can hear as I let off uh, the, the, the gas, it gets really, real quiet. If you don't like uh, all of the noise coming out of that carburetor, you can put a different air cleaner on it that restricts the flow a little bit more and uh, keeps the, the noise down. But uh, yeah, that was the big hill. That was the big hill climb. I like keeping the, uh, the rear view camera on because I kind of like seeing who's behind me. That uh, got that wide view uh, back, mirror, uh, uh, back mirror up here. I like seeing the whole cab behind me uh, as I'm driving. You really are driving a house uh, when you're driving the Winnebago. So, uh, you know, the steering is okay. Um, it's nowhere near as loosey-goosey as it used to be. Uh, and most importantly, uh, all of the brakes are solid. Like, I'm, I'm riding the brake and I'm, I'm very easily coming to a slowdown. So we're just gonna come right down here. Slow it down. I'm barely touching the brakes and it's slowing down very easily. So, and those um, those new shocks are really nice around curbs like that. With a with other older RVs like this, you'll you'll be bouncing around like crazy. This you get like a it's almost like you're riding on a little marsh marshmallow uh, around curbs like that. My foot's not even on the gas right now, and it idles it idles up uh, up and down and around uh, very easily. So. That's it. Um, I would say this baby is uh, ready to roll, uh, as is, and uh, ready for whatever you throw at it. Um, I'm gonna put it in park. Now you hear that idle, it's super smooth, but it is too high. So you'll want to, um, plenty of good vacuum, that's good, that means there's no leaks, but uh, you'll wanna look at the, uh, you'll wanna look at the carburetor and you wanna tune it up. It has a mixture, mixture screws and an idle screw. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with it, but uh, you just take the doghouse off. There's a little pull switch there, there, and there's a pull handle there. Pull all three of those off, doghouse comes off. But yeah, that's it, Winnebago.